Your Fox Carolina first alert weather. All right, a good Thursday afternoon again, everybody. First alert meteorologist Brian Bachman here. We're tracking some severe storms moving through parts of the upstate at this hour. We have a pair still of some overlapping severe thunderstorm warnings here. The southern half of this was issued first. This in effect until 430. Uh, still includes parts of northern Abbeville, extreme northern uh, Greenwood, and parts of Lawrence counties here. And then the northern half got going, so that instituted a second warning here until 445. That includes a larger portion of Lawrence County. Either way here, if you're anywhere from about Cross Anchor, uh, certainly back through the due west area. You're just coming out of this storm and uh, anywhere from Lawrence to Cross Hill, Joanna, you want to make sure that you're keeping a watchful eye on your western skies as this storm rolls on in. It's capable of producing up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts and nickel size hail and also protruding quite a bit in the way of uh, lightning strike activity. Just 30 sticks, uh, 36 rather strikes detected within just about the last 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, storm still moving generally off to the east at about 30 miles per hour. So Lawrence, this will be in your area by about 422. Cokesbury by about 426, 440 for Presbyterian College, and then farther down the line as we approach the 5 o'clock hour, Joanna around 453, Whitmire at about 507 as those storms continue off to the east. Uh, another storm here kind of becoming an elongated cluster of cells here, hovering right along and then immediately south of I-85 in parts of Cherokee and Spartanburg counties. Gaffney right into the city of Spartanburg, seeing some torrential downpours with this. Uh, fortunately, not nearly as much in the way of lightning strike activity, but it is a thunderstorm storm, so just make sure you're heading for cover, getting to a safe, sturdy structure there as well. Uh, weakening storm, but still producing some heavier downpours in Rutherford County, and now some new scattered storms rolling back in across northeastern Georgia. We'll watch this wave of energy roll in across the area and likely give rise to some new storms over the next few hours. So really until about we get to the 9 to 10 o'clock hour this evening, just make sure that you're staying on top of the weather situation. Satellite and radar showing a cold front that we were tracking just moving out of the Ohio Valley yesterday. It's now more or less right overhead, sitting right over the uh, Tennessee North Carolina border. It's going to get into the upstate by late tonight and then stall out for the next several days. It is going to pass just far enough south into the area that it'll substantially knock down our temperatures. It's not going to cut out the humidity, though, and with its presence, it leads to this more unstable air mass. So these afternoon bouts of scattered showers and thunderstorms, that's going to be a steady part of our forecast here for the next week, if not potentially a bit longer. Next 24 hours showing us more or less where we're at right now. Scattered strong to some severe storms in parts of the area. Perhaps a bit of a break in the action as we start to get toward the 7 to 8 o'clock hour, but we could realistically see a lingering shower or storm, I think especially in the mountains through about midnight or so. Then things will, for the most part, quiet down overnight. Does look like we'll be off to a cloudier start tomorrow morning, so that should at least help to tamp down any shower and storm possibilities early in the day, but as those clouds start to dissipate. We get the sunshine to punch through. You see we go right back into the same setup tomorrow afternoon by four o'clock and uh, pretty well into tomorrow evening. Just typical July weather really if we have to put a fine point on it here for the next several days. And there it is in your seven day forecast. The one thing I can offer you is a break from the heat. At least we got temperatures back to the 80s for the next seven days. Still muggy, but at least not upper 90s and low hundreds. So overall, I think fair to say it's feeling better. And just watch out uh, while we'll have a mix of clouds and sun each day. We'll also be looking for those scattered showers and storms to be firing up in the mountains. A stretch of low 80s for you for the next seven days, but also keep an eye on the skies for those scattered storms. And with the storms in the forecast and the ones tracking through right now, make sure you've got the Fox Carolina First Alert Weather app primed and ready to go. You can use the radar app to track the storms. And if any warnings are issued for your area, you'll get an alert straight on your phone.